Yeah, Jedediah, just out here trying to get it, man. By any means necessary, you feel me? Yeah, let's go. 24 7 hard work and dedication. 24 7 hard work and dedication. Hey, what's going on, y'all? My name is Jedediah. This is the Jedediah Podcast, and today we have a special guest in the building, the one and only Bill Grippin. What's going on? A little bit, a little bit. To the yes, sir. How you feeling today, man? Uh, I'm good. I don't like how far up we are, though. I know. Yeah, I know. Pretty soon I'm going to have the mics where you can just, you know, mm. I'm sure mics where you can oh, adjust. The moves like on uh, uh, Joe Rogan? Exactly, yeah. Yes, We're sir. on a budget right now, so. What do you think? No. <laughs> yeah. You like Joe Rogan? I love Joe Rogan, dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I used to work the night shift at um, Safeway in California. Say okay. Yeah, and we were allowed to wear our headphones, bro. It's the only thing that got me through the night. That and weird nine one one phone calls. <laughs> Say what? Yeah, yeah, I used to listen to like nine one one phone calls. You hear some bizarre shit. Can Hold on, where did you? Yeah, you can curse. Where did where did you work at? I worked at Safeway. It was a grocery store, so I'd stock shelves. Okay, but I'd be like the only one of four people there mm-hmm. listening to nine one one phone calls. <laughs> How did you listen to the the phone calls? Yeah, like YouTube. You go like uh, yeah. So I'll go oh. on YouTube, and it'd be like an hour's worth of like. Strangest nine one one phone calls. Wow. Mm. Okay, I've never uh, never really checked that. Out. I did. I did hear one. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm so out of touch. I I heard one where this lady, uh, she was. I guess she was. Uh, some some dude had her uh, kidnapped in a in a house, and she called the cops. And she acted like what? Well, uh, she made her boyfriend believe that she was calling for some pizza. And she was like calling the cops, and that's slick, boy. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, oh, yeah, yeah. You want pepperoni sausage? Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, this motherfucker. Yeah. What, wait, so got he got kidnapped? She got she kidnapped. Got kidnapped by mm-hmm. her boyfriend? Yeah, I guess he was like holding her hostage and whatnot. Oh yeah, what? A, yeah, we had a little mm-hmm. story on the way here about some. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Kidnapping, but okay. If you oh, and introduce your friend. Oh, uh, if you want, oh, yeah, even introduce my your friend right here, Vicky. We got uh, my boy Brizzy Baby in the building. We cannot forget about Brizzy Baby. We also got K Blue Baby, mm-hmm. Joe Glass. <laughs> yeah, those are my boys. Right those are my brothers. Okay, okay. Well, thanks for coming through, man. Uh, I got a lot I want to get into. Uh, get into, but uh, real quick, man, what you been up to lately? How, how's the family and all that? And fantastic. Uh, I just been up and out the way, mm-hmm. paying bills, working on music, dog. That's basically all I do. Family's fantastic. My little brother just got a new job. Um, he's working at Toyota. Toyota, okay. Yeah, I'm proud of him. I didn't think he was going to be on that type of shit. And my other little brother is, uh, he's the youngest one. He's already got a crib, a car. He's healthy. He's good looking. Okay. You know. I got you. Do any of them do music like you? No. Nah, so my middle brother was really into football. My youngest brother's really into basketball. So my youngest brother's still trying to go to college for basketball. Mm-hmm. Devin, my middle brother, he hung okay. up boots. He's just doing his mechanic thing. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. And I see you dressing all blue, man. You cripping out here tonight? Nah, bro, literally this is not <laughs> even my shirt. Okay. I, was, I went to Topless this weekend, right? Okay. And uh, we were supposed to come back a couple of days ago. We were supposed to come back Saturday. And I ended up kicking it with my boy Brizzy. We had a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, fuck, dude, I got an interview. Mm-hmm. On Sunday at 7, I don't have shit to wear. But, you know, your boy can put anything together, so I had to do it to Okay, him. so no gang affiliation? No. Nah, okay, nah. I got you. Okay, so um, let's talk about you, man. So let's 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 take it back, because I know you said you were doing, you were you spent some time in California, is that right? Oh, yeah. Where are you, where are you from? Where are you born? I'm from, I was born in Conroe. Okay. I mean, I grew up in Houston, like, this is my hometown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you just moved to California at one point in time? Oh, yeah, man, I lived, I lived like, five, six different places. Mm-hmm. I lived in Arizona. I lived in California. I lived in Iowa. I lived in Indiana, and I lived in Texas. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of like little traveled. Yeah. Okay. California was popping, man. Look, so this is this is the difference between if you're on the east side of the United States compared to the west side. The west side's popping, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm not a very good looking person out there. You feel me? So <laughs> when I stroll out there, they gotta know that I'm Bill Grippin. Um, mm-hmm. Out here, I might be able to pull some. It's different. You go to Iowa. So when I went to actually scratch that Indiana, when I went to Indiana. I was that was that was the shit out there because I was the only Texas kid, a Texas boy out there rapping the way I was. I was new, you know what I mean. So I felt like a boss out there. Um, but I gave that up to come back to my hometown. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I okay. Like it here. There's a lot of support. Okay. And and what have you been working on these days, music wise? Oh, dude. <clears throat> so I've been working on an album for like two, three years. Uh, just song by song. There's there's some songs that I release as singles that probably didn't want to make the album only because mm-hmm. I didn't feel like it caught the vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But we just shot the There He Go music video last Sunday, and that motherfucker was crazy, boy. <laughs> I stepped out in a suit. I hopped out of a Cadillac. Um, <laughs> ass everywhere. Oh yeah, we rented a we rented a uh, an office building <laughs> in Houston. At, right away, where is it at, Keith? Right across the street, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. We, yeah, right out here, we shot that. Um, may make trying to make it look official. Oh yeah. Okay. Official. I mean, it was official. I had, I had a, so basically, what we did is I had a, a, my sister played the bougie secretary. I mean, a uh, receptionist. She don't want to answer the phone. She don't want to do her job. Blowing bubbles as her feet up on the desk. She mm-hmm. killed that role. And then uh, I had my secretary, and then I had a couple other people in the background. Mm-hmm. I just didn't expect that many people to show up and on time, mm-hmm. especially him. He never shows up on time anywhere. Blue, <laughs> but no, he was there. Yeah, and he, okay. Yeah, we turned it up. I, I like I like your videos, man. I was just watching uh, the ch- uh, I think it's called the chosen one you did with uh, Gringo. Yeah, that's my boy right yeah. there. But it's not just a music video. It's like a little story, you know? Exactly. I've done that. So basically, since Chosen One, so right before Chosen One, I did a, a, a song and a video with my boy Brizzy Baby. It's called Rubber Bands. Okay. I Bro, heard that. Yeah, I just put that out. We were through a fuck-ass record label, at least he was, and uh, they did him dirty. Uh, and so we really didn't have to get much creative control with that video. We just showed up, turned up, turned out, did our thing, dipped. Um, but... Chosen One, I was like, man, after Chosen One, I want every single one of my music videos to have a gimmick. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So Chosen One had that little show to, basically, I showed up to the party, popped out the cake, and turned it lit. Nobody wanted to come to Gringo's birthday party. And then there he go, I'm like the boss, show up on some Wolf of Wall Street type shit. Yeah. And my next v- music video, she, um, I'm going to try to get her to play Cameron Diaz. <laughs> We're going to do like a mask type thing. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 what? The mask with Jim Carrey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. She look, she, to me, she looks like fucking Cameron Diaz. Yeah, he definitely pulled it off. Yeah, definitely, sure. definitely. Red dress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, sh- yeah, shout out Gringo. That's my dog right there. Yeah. One of the coldest right now. And he's he got, all right, I, I had to pull him to the side and give him a little confidence boost the other day. I'm like, dog, you got to realize that Dax knows who you are. He reposted your shit, mm-hmm. right? You have a song with Paul Wall and Baby Bash. Baby Bash, yeah. Come on. Shoot. Oh, I can't say it. Oh, okay. Not yet, but hey, good shit coming soon, I promise. Um, yeah. And, you know, he's literally, and this blew my mind, lead the way music video out right now on all platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, go to YouTube, go to Baby Bash's um, YouTube page. Bro, it'll blow your mind. It goes lead the way, sugar, sugar, how'd you get to fly, and then cyclone. Mm-hmm. I'll be losing it, bro, <laughs> if I was on the same shit as any one of my favorite rappers like that. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's doing something, man. Yeah, he's cold with it. Yeah, oh, yeah, we all, yeah, me, Blue, man, we all been networking. I, I mean, I built a community. We we built a community, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We're all doing music together. Uh, yeah. We want to do, like, a cypher. Because it's me, I mean, basically the little community is me, Pimp, Rax, Brizzy Baby, K-Blue, Gringo. Am I missing anybody? Got a whole little click going. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. And, uh, okay, man, and, and as far as your story goes, like, uh, what was your upbringing like growing up? I mean, shitty, bro. I, I had a pretty rough talk, I'm not going to lie. Um, and Brizzy can really relate to me. Um, I mean, so basically, probably to the age of about five, it was all good. You know what I mean? My dad had his thing going. My mom had her thing going. Um, and then drugs are a bitch, dude. You know mm. what I mean? Drugs are a bitch. So once that gets involved into your life in any possible way, fuck off, Blue. Uh, uh, yeah, so basically, once that got introduced into my mom's life, my dad went to jail for a long time. Um, she tried to keep it afloat. She had three kids. She never worked a day in her life. You know what I'm saying? My dad took care of her. Yeah. So, I mean, I had, I look, I lived in a trailer park. I, and my, in one of my new songs, I said, I get on my shit from sweet water, ate through the shrooms, evolving, fuck out of soda, drink water, open your mind and think smarter. That part where I said I get everything from sweet water, that's a double entendre, because I get all my microphone equipment and all that, I get that from sweet water, like you order it offline, yeah. but I grew up on Sweetwater Street as well, so I get all my shit from sweet water. And, uh, but now I had holes in the floor, I like um, that. holes in the floor, yeah. rats, I had lice, bed bugs, no water, no Electricity, no toothbrush. Damn. Yeah, I had to wake my little brothers up to get them to school. You know what I mean? All Shit that. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, were, you, were you the oldest one? or? Yeah, I'm the oldest okay, one. Okay, yeah. And how how old are you? I am right 25 now. years old. 25 years old. Okay, okay. So you're going through all of this as a uh, as, as, as a kid. And, and uh, like, you know, as a kid, I feel like you don't, you know, you, you know you're really, you know, you're innocent. You don't really know too much. But, like, at what age did you, like, start seeing, like, oh, this is... Like we're like you know like we're really going through it like you know what I mean like 
Was um, that like when you started going to school and see other kids yeah, and stuff for like sure. that? Yeah, when I was the only kid who never had a good haircut, I always had <laughs> fucked up shoes. I smelled like shit. I know I did. My, my clothes were never washed, you know what I mean? Yeah. My mom did try to do what she had to do, you know what I mean? But when you're taken care of by somebody for so long and they go to jail for five years, you, you, you just get thrown into the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, her route to get her money up was drugs, you know what I mean? And she started doing those drugs and started dating the plug, and then the plug moved in with us. So, yeah. like, I think I was about, when I really snapped, man, I think I was, like, nine years old, eight years old. And I was like, damn, we're, this is not normal, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ate fucking spinach and sardines for six months, bro. Wow. <laughs> no cap. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and bread. Yeah. Bread was a motherfucker. Look, I have a weird memory. Look, and okay. I always remember this for the rest of my life. There was a loaf of bread on my counter, and we woke up the next morning, and the whole middle part of the bread was eaten by rats. Oh. But it was like a dip like this. We were so broke, dog, that they took the eating parts out, and we fucking kept the rest of the bread full. Damn. Hey. Damn. Now, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's different. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Okay. And, uh, okay, so as far as, like, the music, like, you know, did you know when did that get introduced into your life, and, you know, when did you start, like, coming up, like, creating your own music? So, and this is another good story, bro. I was ready for this. Mm -hmm. um, I was four years old when I first got into music. Uh, my mom told me that, by the time I was four, I had a fake electric guitar. And my, my parents had always had parties. Like, this is back when life was good, too. So from, like, four, maybe it's about, like, eight. Um, yeah, we would have all types of good parties. Our neighbors would come over, and they would have me perform. I knew every word to every Kiss song. You know the band Kiss? I was I've, obsessed, I've heard of them, yeah. bro. I was obsessed. I knew every word to every song. I'm there in the, I don't, now I, I'm older now. I can't remember the name of the album. Knew every word to every song. Uh, knew the name of every song. I knew the name of every band member and what they played at four years old, bro. No cap. My mom <laughs> said I'd be in my underwear. My kiss. I had kiss underwear. I thought <laughs> I was Gene Simmons, bro. He's a lead guitar. Yeah. He, yeah. yeah. And then, so it kind of went from that. I was always musically inclined. Though. Or okay. My mom was like, she even tell me since I was 12, you're going to be some type of entertainer. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know if it's going to be in movies or what. But she even tells me now, she's like, I did not think you were going to do rap. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. She's, uh, movies. Okay. Yeah. Like an actor. Uh, yeah, I'm like Leonardo in this movie. Leonardo? Actually, Johnny Depp. I, yeah, I'm on some Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp? Yeah. Yes, sir. Johnny Depp can watch it right now. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> literally. Boy, though. Yeah. That's, my dog, though. <laughs> That's my dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Johnny Depp's cool. Like he, uh, Yeah. What was like your top three favorite Johnny Depp movies? Oh, uh, Secret Window. Speak like a little bit closer. Oh, my fault, yeah, yeah, you go, you go, you go. I'm going to move the... Cherry. Yes, probably. Uh, top three Johnny Depp movies. Uh, hey, uh, 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 Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Um, the Secret Window, and then the one where he plays the D Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy or, Hollow. Oh, no, 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 Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows. Where he plays that vampire. Cold, bro. Okay. Nobody yeah. can act like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I I don't like no no I I I need to I need to get on those. I like I like when he played a uh, uh, John Dillinger in uh in Public Enemies. That's oh, my shit. Cold dude. That's my shit, man. Cold. He's a, he's crazy. And Willy Wonka. <laughs> That's a classic, bro. You can you can't that has that can't go unmentioned. You know yeah yeah. I heard they were making a new one. I wonder who they're gonna use. Right. I did hear that actually. I think they're gonna use that guy from uh that just played Batman, the new Batman. Uh, uh, my Robert Trooper? Patterson. I, I forget. So we fact check Jamie. I know. Where's yeah. my boy? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jamie, look this up for me real quick. I know. Um, my cameraman called in today, so. I don't know. Let me have to look that up. Yeah, I'm they're just, doing uh, another. They're doing. I know they're doing another Willy Wonka. Um. New Willy Wonka. Because <laughs> you know I'm gonna be in the studio. I'm gonna be in the theater watching that whole mm -hmm. rip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! I see who you're talking about. I don't know this dude's name. Um, what did he? What else did he playing? Cause I've seen his face before. A little skinny guy right there. Oh, that's um. Mm. Oh well, fuck that guy. Yeah. He ain't doing nothing for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to take Johnny Depp's spot. Back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. And like, cause I know you you do a little acting in your in your music. So like, I mean, so like, have you ever considered tapping into that? Maybe like down the line, like you know, getting like playing like auditioning for roles and whatnot. If I did anything like that, I'd probably do comedy. I'd probably do some type of comedy. Stand up skits, and maybe. Yeah, I could definitely, cause I can write like crazy. When it comes to putting words together and 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 like English, the English language, I'm cold with it. I just can't speak it very well. Um, but 
I would definitely do skits, something like that. But I, I, yeah, I would do comedy. I, I don't think I would ever do like anything serious. I can't even take myself serious sometimes. You know okay. I mean? So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got you. Okay, now back back to your story. Okay, so you know, um, when did you start writing music? When did you start releasing and you know recording and releasing? Uh, I freestyled. So I started freestyling when I was like fifteen, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember. <laughs> I know, I remember fucking everything. So we were on the bus, me and my boy Chance, and uh, there was this kid named John. He was like three grades ahead of us. And my boy Chance looked up to him because he mm -hmm. like lifted weights and he listened to like good music. So one day he was on the bus and he was freestyling. We thought he was good. He, I, now that I think about it, he's tra he was trash, but he, you know, he was trying, you know what I mean, doing mm -hmm. his thing. It kind of inspired Chance. And that, that I hung out with Chance every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got to Chance's house one day and Chance was like, bro, you ever heard of freestyling? I'm like, nah, I don't know what that is, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, I'll show you. And he did, like, his own thing. And we ended up standing on, there's a, he has a pond in his backyard. And there's, like, this little uh, uh, concrete bridge that goes over it. Mm -hmm. We're standing on the bridge, freestyling. We freestyled for I'm mean, three hours, dude. And then when we were done freestyling, he wanted to go inside. And I was like, bro, I want to keep doing it. Like, mm -hmm. I just want to keep freestyling. And it just, like, it turned into an unhealthy obsession. Mm. Are then, you still, do you still got the freestyles? Oh, I'm cool with it. Oh, we. Whatever. I might drop some beats on you, Bill. Yeah, let's do it. I'm always <laughs> ready for it. Okay, so 15 years old, you start freestyling, and and uh, First, what? I wrote because my my boy Chance was like, "Bro, you're so cold with the freestyling. Imagine mm -hmm. when you could write down." Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember like a little bit of the first thing I ever wrote, mm -hmm. only like the beginning part. The beginning, yeah, as the far as your first four bars. I, I spit it earlier. Remember, Brizzy? Hit Sorry, us. Hit it. All right, I was 16. You ready? Okay. I said, uh, I said, chumps in my scope said to never miss. Had to, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, chumps in my scope said to never miss. Had to sever, but nevertheless stay competitive. I compete to win. You kids lack originality. Trends are what you kept in. I picked the lock to hip hop. I hope it didn't step in. I'm going to make you shit, and then I hope y'all accept it. Okay. But who cares? Yeah, I don't even remember. <laughs> but that was it, bro. That was it. That was the first thing I wrote down on pen what, and paper. What, what did you listen to growing up? Who? I listened to Nirvana, Tool, mm -hmm. Pink Floyd. Um, that the the rock side of it goes mm -hmm. on forever. Yeah. Now rap wise, I mean obviously I grew up on Slim Shady. Mm -hmm. The Slim Shady LP changed my life as a kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I listen to Nelly a lot. Ludacris. My mom loved Ludacris. Mm -hmm. SPM. The first song I ever knew, word really? for word, rap wise, was "Wiggy Wiggy" by SPM. Yeah, I used yeah, to tell people, too. "Yeah." <laughs> I used to tell people I wrote the second part when I was in what? when I was in school. What do you mean? Uh, the second part of "Wiggy Wiggy," uh, "Baby Bash." Baby part. Bash, yeah, 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 yeah. I used yeah. to tell people at school that I, I, I wrote that. I would sing it to them because they'd never heard the song before, and they were like, "Boy, you cold." I'm like, "Yeah." Just be finessing them. Uh, <laughs> no. Copyright. Getting all the ladies. <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. And uh, when did you like put what, what was like the name of the the first song that you released and put out? Uh, it was a crazy the ver <laughs> it was crazy remix by Lil Wayne. Crazy remix. Yeah, so Lil Wayne has a song called Crazy with a K, and it was the first song that I ever recorded on a microphone ever. Mm -hmm. How old were you? Probably seventeen. Maybe. Seventeen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Seventeen, maybe eighteen. Um, that was the first thing I ever recorded. It, it, it uh, even I go look back on it and now I was like. Still impressive, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For me being that the age that I was, that was the first thing I ever wrote. But right after that, I came out with a uh, a little mixtape called Probably on Some Progress. That was my first body of work. That was the first thing that I had ever dropped. I went to the studio. I dropped like three hundred and fifty dollars on a five song mix, master, engineered, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, when that came out, you can even ask my manager right here. We had did no promotion. We blew up with those songs solely off the fact that. It was some little 17-year-old, 18-year-old white kid from where I'm from. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And uh, everybody in my high school knew that I rapped, right? But there was like a, a clique of people that just did not rock with me. So when that dropped, I feel like they listened to it the most. You know oh, just because they were like, man, let me check them out. Right, and ended up loving it. Mm. Okay, okay. When did when did grunge come out? Because yeah, when I, I, I when I when I see that video, it's like you look very younger compared to how you look now. Yeah, I gained a little weight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't want to say. It, <laughs> <laughs> my boy, that's what I'm talking about. I love Wilson. Okay. Uh, yeah, I gained a little bit of weight, but uh, I was young then. I think I was about twenty. Keep the hoes. Uh, nineteen, twenty. About twenty, twenty-one. Yeah. Well, I couldn't drink at the time. I remember that because mm -hmm. I wanted to get beer. Yeah, yeah. Before twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, grunge is nice. 
I like uh, the video too. I mean, you know, you could, you could tell it wasn't like you know was just quality together, was on it. Yeah. But I like the uh, you know uh, it was kind of you were sticking the finger at a uh, uh, Donald Trump and, and then, Hillary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I got sucked into all that bullshit. Like, so with I'm, my I'm, mom. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing you're uh, anti politics or yeah, very much so. Honestly, I'm not anti anything, but it just doesn't like. I just don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? I never once ever have. Mm-hmm. I couldn't tell you the fucking political state of anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can tell you I'm trying to politically smoke a blunt in this bitch. Is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for people... <laughs> yeah. And uh, for people who don't know, what does grunge mean? Uh, so my favorite type of rock music is grunge. Mm-hmm. Nirvana's... I mean, I feel like I'm Kurt Cobain, dude. I always I always have. So I grew my hair out and wanted to, I wanted to be Kurt Cobain for the longest time, but I know mm-hmm. I couldn't sing like that until Brizzy hooked me up with presets and I'm going to go down the, <laughs> I'm about to go down the alternative rock lane here pretty soon. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, but uh, nah, that grunge just came from that. That beat reminded me, like, I felt like if Kurt Cobain was a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, yeah that's what you were voice. aiming for. Yeah. And at mm-hmm. the time, I felt like that was my... Cause I was like so lost in fi- trying to find a genre for my music. Mm-hmm. As I got older, I realized you don't have to label that shit. But at the time, I was like, I'm a grunge rapper. I'm a grunge rapper. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Anybody yeah. I was, I was actually, I didn't even know that existed until like I was speaking with your manager before the interview. We were, we were speaking on that, and uh, yeah. So okay, so that's where that comes from. Yeah, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Okay, and how? Uh, okay, so you said around twenty uh, before you were twenty one. That's when the song came yeah. out. And okay. It, yeah, it, uh, I think what inspired me at that time it, it actually wasn't Nirvana. I think Chris Cornell died around that time, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Uh, S- Soundgarden, Audio Slave, Chris Cornell. I think that's what inspired that song the most mm-hmm. at that time. Yeah. Mm, okay. Sure. And you wrote that song, or was it like a plug-in? No, no, I wrote freestyle. it for sure. Back back then, I I wrote with a pen and piece of paper, which I need to get back to. And anybody who's watching this, sit the fuck down and write some shit, dog. Don't try to punch in. Don't bullshit. Punching in is cool sometimes, especially if you have to do a feature or lay something down quick. Because if you fire, you're fired. It's gonna come out fire. Mm-hmm. But challenge yourself. Make sure that when you write a bar, that next bar is better than that last bar, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. So, okay, okay, okay. A little advice for the for the up and coming yeah, artists. Put them on. Put them on. Yeah, and uh, like when it comes to uh, like these days, like what are you listening to like on the regular when it comes to like rap and shit? I listen to a lot of Brizzy Baby, K Blue, Gringo the MC. I listen to a lot of people that fuck with me, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. like once I find their music and then I meet them as a person, the shit that they say in their songs hit a lot more to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But probably like my favorite artists of all time, because I break it down in categories like. My favorite artist of all time, Kevin Gates, Mac Miller. I like the baby a lot. I get a lot of hate for that, but I love the baby. Y'all quit hating on me. You get bro. hate for that? For yeah, the yeah. fact that you like the baby? Yeah. It's ba- I don't know why. I do get a lot of hate for it. That's weird. They, they say I try to sound like them. I don't. Know, so I, I, don't I, mean, I, I can't don't hear it. <laughs> but I listen to a lot of. Um, okay. Do, do you like uh, um, Tommy and Paula? Tame Impala, Tommy Impala, y'all let me know. I don't know. If I'm well, be saying. honest, I don't. I don't know. No, no. I'm gonna check them. Check them out. Really? Though, is it a rap group or? Uh, no, it's actually a. They, they sing. Okay, they're yeah. Singing. They make like alternative. I don't know how to explain it. You know what I'm talking about, Rizzy? It's yeah. some indie type <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, it's yeah, it's on some indie type shit. Okay, but I really like '80s. Tommy Impala. Okay, I really like '80s stuff too, like uh, Head Over Heels by. Um, Keith, <laughs> head over heels. Uh, uh, something <laughs> happens and I'm head over heels. I'm trying to find out till I'm head over heels. Okay. Oh, oh, it, it's a soundtrack from Donnie Darko. Okay. Yeah, cold. Uh, okay, okay, Ice okay. Ice cold, baby. Gotcha. I'm gonna gotta check them out though. I'm gonna check them out. I do. I, I mean, I do. I like. Uh, oh, if you want to hit the record real quick. Did you Did you check out that new uh, Jack Harlow? Loved it. Yeah. Not my favorite from him at all, though. Not your favorite project work nah, from him, but still close. still pretty good. Still though. cold, though. Jack Harlow, Jack Harlow. You know, yeah, at the end yeah. of the day. Now, 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 my thing with Jack Harlow is I think he, in, in some instances he lacks like a, a little bit of diversity. I feel like the when I played that album through, like, the, all right, the song Poison on there was cold, right? Mm-hmm. Anything with Lil Wayne's cold. Shout mm-hmm. out Weezy. Mm-hmm. Um, then he has a song called uh, Young Harleasy. If you listen to, bro, the dude got, 
Snoop Dogg to come on a song and say some shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like that's how you know you made it. Um, yeah, I, I rocked with a lot. My favorite by Jack Arlo is, um, and I'm trying to think of the name of the album. It has Cody Banks, Big Chillin, uh, Warsaw. It's like the one he dropped. Ice. Ice, yeah. Been team. I think it's called Rotten, if I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken. Um, he's wearing a black tank top. And that's it. Black tank top, and it's just him on the front. Um, that's been he was cold, cold. I, I remember doing shrooms in Iowa. My boy, I was we we're roommates. He went out with this girl to a hotel. I ended up doing some shrooms by myself. Hopped on the bike to go to the store to get some beer, and, and I'm halfway there, and I start tripping. And I have I have the Jack Harlow in my ha- hand, and I, I was dancing on that bitch too. No hands on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all ever take some shrooms and dance, bro? I'm telling Damn. you. Damn. Yeah, but yeah, it was, it was good. You still fuck with the shrooms? Yeah, I just tripped not that long ago. Mm-hmm. I, but I do it in moderation. It's not a drug that I will ever abuse. It's not a drug. It's not. I don't consider it a drug at all. By the way, if anybody says any different, it might be a mind altering substance. But a drug is something that you abuse. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. I still fuck with the shrooms only because it gives you that afterglow. Like when I do shrooms. I feel like before I do them, I'm so caught up in the day-to-day bullshit. I'm so clouded. I have tunnel vision. I don't open my mind spiritually. Mm-hmm. And not even to sound corny, yeah, that's just how I feel. And when I do shrooms, not only does that, like, do they tell me something and they let me realize that I, there's certain things that I need to do, but like, for two weeks after that, I don't have any depression. I don't have any anxiety. You know what I mean? And for, okay, so is, is, uh, as far as the experience, is it just like a, like a cleanse maybe? Like for people who haven't tried I mean, it at all, it's just like a basic a cleanse. mental cleanse. Yeah, but it's a ride though. It's going to tell you some shit. It can either go up or down real quick, but either way that it goes, it's always going to, you're always going to come out feeling better, I promise. There's, there's no two ways. No matter how, no matter what you see, think about, or feel, it's going to tell you what you need to hear. Okay. And what's like the best environment for people to be in like you know like first time users by yourself in your room make sure all right by yourself in your room close the door you don't want to be around people because it does get real awkward because you're tripping and then you know they're tripping so don't be around bad like bad energy i think the first time you do shrooms you should do 2.5 dry grams go to your room close the door turn on some fire lights and then get your tv yeah and get your tv and put YouTube on and just put on your favorite playlist and just let it rock. Go listen to a- uh, Long Live ASAP mm-hmm. by ASAP Rocky while you're tripping. Oh, my God. Yeah. And congrats to ASAP. I heard he just uh, became yeah, a father. Yeah, congrats to ASAP for mm-hmm. sure. With Rihanna, bro. With Rihanna. Jesus man. Christ. He hit the lottery. Yeah. Yeah, and then he went and cheated on her with, like, a foot model. Like, you think? Only, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got to be a bad <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? To have yeah. a number one hit, knock up Rihanna, and then go cheat on her with a foot model, dog. Man, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I thought that was just rumors or something because she stayed pro- with the it guy. It probably was rumors. She stayed with him. Yeah, it probably was rumors. Ryan is a bad bitch, and she's way richer than ASAP. Sorry, yeah. dog. You know I love you. Let's get on a song together. But yeah, yeah, nah, Rihanna, you, you, she's a, like she's a billionaire. Right? She's people people think that what's that chick that 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 uh, had just had Drake's kid, Sophia or something like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. think she did hit the lottery, man. That boy ASAP. That boy ASAP hit the lottery. ASAP. Fuck Drake. That boy ASAP. <laughs> Shout out my boy ASAP. And he Drake. his music is nice though. Like I, I fuck with ASAP. He's got his own sound, man. He's from mm-hmm. Harlem. You know what I'm saying? He, they, they got that. They made up their own thing out there. And like, yeah. yeah. Did you hear uh, him just say? Uh, he I think he got on a uh, Drink Champs and he was like, uh, Travis Scott stole my sound. Did yeah. You hear who about said it? that? ASAP, yeah, ASAP. yeah. He said he stole sound in his look. Yeah, I don't think he stole sound at all. They sound nothing alike. Mm-hmm. But I mean, they look alike. But they're just both black guys with braids. You know what I'm saying? They do kind of look like a little, telling, little bit. That's like me telling Blue he stole my look because we were both <laughs> white dudes with fucking combo. Yeah, like, yeah. He's probably just trying to start some yeah, shit. Yeah, pre- pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got you. And back to the Jack Harlow thing because uh, I feel like he got a lot of flag. Just you know, I, I feel like. I don't know. Like, do you, do you think like people? Because he he's got a lot of hate. Like, and he did, he did an interview where like he didn't know where Brand uh, that Brandy and Ray J were related, and uh, a lot of people came at him for that. You know, and the fact that y'all don't come for me, but I don't know who, who the fuck they was related <laughs> either, dog. Oh, you know they getting you. Just don't put me in the boat. Hey, look, I I feel like look, man. No matter what you say, somebody's gonna fucking not like it. You know, mm-hmm. especially when you have that much light around you. Mm-hmm. Everybody loved Jack Harlow, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Until he started really blowing up. Mm-hmm. When What's Poppin' dropped, everybody was fucking with Jack Harlow. Yep. Now that his debut album drops and he has Drake on a song, 
Yeah, you're going to get a lot of hate, which I don't understand because he's such a likable person. And some people say they only like his music because he's a likable person. Mm -hmm. I was like, you need to get some better taste in music. Is it because, do you think it's because he's a white, just, he's For white? sure, yeah, we, I mean. Just to be real, just, like. Just, just in the rap game, and I don't want to come off like any type of way. I mean, I feel like we, like, to an extent, we do have to work twice as hard, you know. We don't want to come off corny. We don't mm -hmm. want to come off like we're culture vultures or we're, we're trying to, you know what I mean? We're not trying to come off that way. We enjoy Mm -hmm. The music at the end of the day, yeah. So we're just trying to keep it in that lane. You got to give credit to the people that exactly, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, but yeah, it's a little. I just I I I perceive it a little unfair, you know, because he has put in the work. He ain't, he ain't yeah. no overnight success. No, not at all. He's been putting work in, and and yeah. so yeah. I just I know. saw music videos of him in high school, <laughs> killing it, boy. So. Yeah. yeah, Mac, Mac Miller's that. another one too. Like you know what I'm saying? Like rest rest in peace, rest Mac in Miller, peace, man. Mac. I heard they just got his uh that they just uh that drug dealer. Mm -hmm. They just uh Yeah, Max such a time. gangster bro that he ordered <laughs> I don't know how he doesn't me I wish he hit me up the number, but he ordered uh a couple females, a bunch of Xanax, uh <laughs> hit me up with your plug, Mac. He ordered females, some Xan no, obviously I don't want his plug, but I want the females, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the female plug is. <laughs> Just uh, no, no, but the, the the Xanax had fentanyl in it, bro. Yeah, and, and you, like at the end of the day, if anybody does, I know about pharmaceutical drugs, fentanyl is actually an opiate, right? But it's one of the most powerful opiates, and Xanax is a benzo. So the fact that you put an opiate, one of the strongest opiates, inside a benzo, and tell that person that this is for anxiety, you, you you're a piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you sell, well, I don't think he fentanyl, did it purposely. You're a piece I, of shit. I think. I don't think it was intentional. Oh, he probably wasn't like I'm but, gonna kill this motherfucker, but he did sell him fentanyl. And yeah. if you if you didn't get your pills from a per, if you didn't get it from a bottle or a script or a pharmacy, then they're fake, and you know they're yeah. fake, and you're selling them to people, and you are whack. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, yeah, he's I know he's gonna be doing time, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, man. And uh, so in the the album you were talking about, you were referring to like when when is like when do you plan on mm -hmm. dropping that? It's one of those things that, like, if I plan on dropping it, it won't get dropped. And if I do plan on dropping it, I don't feel like it'd be as good. I'm literally just going to go until I'm like, this is it. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. there's no rush. My singles are doing really well right now. Um, my videos are doing well. You know, everything's looking good right now. I don't feel like there's a rush for an album. Okay. I have, you know, four albums worth of music, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Damn, okay. But I want to do a, a debut album. You know what I mean? I, I feel like there's no use in dropping an album before. Mm-hmm. You can y'all come through. Yeah, you could. There's no use in dropping an album before you blow up. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even mm -hmm. make any sense. Yeah. Dropping mixtapes or singles. Yeah, you, you see a lot of, uh, and that's some, that, that bothers me. Like I, 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 I like you know a lot of good local artists from the city that dropping albums and like, dude, just keep doing the singles. Yeah, the visuals, exactly. like, yeah. Because you just had, if you dropped a 12 song album, you have a year's worth of singles. Mm -hmm. You drop a single a month with a video, good promotion. Um, you post on TikTok multiple times a day. You post on Facebook multiple times, Instagram multiple times, Twitter. Um, just be consistent. You know, this is what I do. I drop a single at the beginning of every month, okay? Mm -hmm. But then the rest of that month, I promote the next single, right? I'm, pr I'm obviously promoting my song, but people know that the first of next month there's going to be another single. It's not always on the first, but... So, like, Pump It Up is a good example. I have a song called Pump It Up. Mm -hmm. Um I promoted that for what, Keith? A month? Yeah, about a month. I, I promoted it for about a month. Every time I get on uh, uh, TikTok Live, I green screen the cover art behind me. Um, I always had the pre-save link everywhere. I, I'm, I'm very calculated with the things I do, with things we do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I promoted it for about a month. And when we dropped it, we did 100K in the first week. Yeah. yeah. 150K in the first two weeks. And that was with no record label, no budget, nothing. Mm -hmm. This man... My 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 brother over here, Brizzy, he mm -hmm. he makes and mastered the song for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I got the beat from my my boy Pimp. You know what I mean? So we all came together and we made a hit. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and that's the only thing that I could because I have a lot of people hit me up every day for, hey, how do I do this or what's this advice or how do I go about doing this? Literally, just work the system, man. Mm -hmm. It's right there in front of you. There's a blueprint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and you got access to the you know you. Access internet, you know what I'm saying? You can exactly. It's out there. The, inf the information is out there. You can make a billion dollars with this thing right here. Yeah, learn how to use it. Go get yeah. two of them. <laughs> Big facts. Mm. Uh, when you're not doing anything music related, like what do you what do you like to do, like hobby wise? Shit, dude, stay sober. As of right now, that's trying to kind of what I'm trying to do. Stay sober, sober. on certain things. Um, that, but 
I don't know. My hobbies, fuck, dude. I mean, I literally just make music. Just do the music. Yeah, I don't have time for anything else. What I go out and do shit. Oh, I did go to top. I do like titties in my free time. I don't mind titties at all. Mm-hmm. Shit, that made two of us, goddamn. Yes, sir. Yeah, that <laughs> probably makes all of us, dog, and everybody else watching. <laughs> this ain't water, Playboy. The popo think it is, but this ain't water, baby. This motherfucking gray goose. This is water. <laughs> this is water. <laughs> I don't know what they. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So uh, I got you. And and if you weren't doing rap, like, what do you think you'd be doing right now? Shit, dude. Probably every something everybody else would be doing. Some mm-hmm. old shit. Be waking up dreading my life. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean. People call them dreams, right? Go go chase your dream. Those aren't dreams anymore, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The fuckers are goals. You got to check them off. Mm-hmm. So I dream about making music, but those are also my goals. But, like, I even tell myself I can't just be a rapper. What am I without rap? Am I nobody? You know what I mean? I can't just be nobody without it. Mm-hmm. So if I wasn't rapping, I probably would I probably would have stayed skateboarding. Skateboarding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, nah, I'm next for. I'm Rob Deerdick. I'm a. Oh. I'm an entrepreneur, baby. Hmm. Okay. Tony Hawk. Okay. So, how long were you doing the skateboarding? I skateboarded until I was like skateboarding until I was like 18. Yeah. And then I I broke my wrist multiple times, broke my ankle multiple times. I was like, fuck this shit. Skateboarding ain't easy, man. No, it ain't easy, yeah. but it's unforgiving, too. You smack that concrete, and you're like, yeah. fuck this, I'm going home. <laughs> Where's my microphone at? I'm going to rhyme words and get paid for Were it. you good? Were you good at it? I was pretty good. I mean, I skated for a while. Yeah, I was okay. pretty good. I, I, I wouldn't even get on a skateboard now. I'm like, fuck. So I know I'm going to eat shit, boy. I'm about 50 pounds heavier. Yeah. Do you, Okay, do you, uh, like, do you work out every now and then, or? Man, I used to be super into working out. I, I used to be super into, like, uh, so when I moved in with my grandparents, the first thing that my grandpa wanted me to do, because he was a Marine and a gold nut boxer. Mm-hmm. So as soon as I moved in with them, my grandma did not want anything. Y'all know how your grandmas are. My grandma did not want me to have anything to do with football, <laughs> any type of contact sports, none of that. She would never let me do that. And then the first sport I got into was boxing. And I, I boxed for about three years, two and a half years, three years. And then... Um, that got kind of old. I told my grandpa, I was like, man, I see all these people in the UFC kicking and kneeing and shit. I want to do that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, so <laughs> I went from boxing to kickboxing, from kickboxing to Chun Kuk Do, which is Chuck Norris karate, bro. Mm. I was like 15, 16. And my grandpa was like, hey, do you want to do Chuck Norris karate? I'm like, fuck yeah. What you mean? It's Chuck Norris, dog. Um, so I did Chuck Norris karate. And then after that, I wrestled in high school. Absolutely hated it. Only because I did Brazilian jiu-jitsu as well. Mm. And just, like, comparatively, the takedowns with wrestling are amazing, but I like that groundwork with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Mm-hmm. But uh, that that's kind of like... So if, if someone on the street was to get into it with you... I'm a pacifist. Okay. I'll shoot Peace. you. Peace. <laughs> you know, Jesus Christ. But if that's if you make me feel unsafe. If I'm going about my business and you make me feel unsafe, mm-hmm. right, especially if I'm at my house or if I have my girl with me or if I have a kid with me, I'm not just gonna sit there and and, and scrap with you. Mm-hmm. But if you're but like, you hey, could bro. though, like you you know, because almost like what I'm asking, like yeah. you, you know, yeah, self sure. defense. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. Like if you came up to me and was like, "Yo, do you want to do this for fun?" I'm like, "Sure, yeah, let's do it." I'm still like competitive, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, because a lot of fight. I mean, a lot of uh, 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 rappers, you know, they're all tough, and you know what I'm saying. But, yeah, but when it comes down to it, soft as fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got gotcha. you. Uh, what's your favorite rap movie? Eight Mile. I knew it. <laughs> I was say, what other? Say? What? Which one even comes close? I, I'm yeah. I, honestly rap movie. I can't think of any other rap movies. Um, oh, I mean, I, okay. Don't get me wrong. The the Biggie Smalls movie was fire as mm-hmm. fuck. Actually, Get Rich or Die Trying. That's that, yeah, that's all I was gonna Never mention. That's straight actually, straight out of Compton was cool. Straight out of Compton was all right. It was good. Uh. That, that was up there for me. Um, it probably goes Eight Mile, obviously, because that's just mm-hmm. even if you don't even like rap, that's just a cold ass movie. Yep. Eminem won an Oscar for that, didn't he? I don't know. Uh, I I'm almost guaranteed he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. Something. That's uh, that where the uh, the lose yourself song comes from, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where that's where a lot of classics. Yeah, that was. That, uh, oh, no the way. restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I heard what? about that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. We we gotta go to Mom's Spaghetti. Mm-hmm. But isn't it throw up? <laughs> throw up on the Mom's Spaghetti. He's nice. yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but get rich or die trying. Have you seen it? With Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent. Yeah. Of course you haven't. You definitely have to sit down. I asked her if she seen um, lottery tickets. She said no. 
Didn't I ask you if you seen lottery ticket? Bow Wow. You seen it? That was Bow Wow. Lottery ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. I don't think that was you actually. I feel like I can ask. So I think I was with Brizzy because I kept quoting the movie all day. <laughs> that, that was a funny scene where the preacher goes, where the, where the preacher found out that the dude won a, 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 a lottery ticket, Bow Wow. And then when Bow Wow went to church, he was like, Yeah, like a He's whole. like, We got a blessing in here tonight. Can y'all step up onto the stage? <laughs> yeah, he steps up on the stage. The dude got a whole damn monitor up. He like, Man, this He's is, like, This is the wife that God want me to have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. Mike Epps is probably. Uh, Eddie Murphy is my favorite stand-up comedian, and then Mike Epps right behind him. And then under that, I, I mean, honestly, couldn't tell you. They're probably all jumbled up after that. Mm -hmm. I like Martin Lawrence, too. He's funny. Mm -hmm. Chris Rock does too much, I think. He's mm -hmm. funny, but... His older stuff is probably the best. Yeah, yeah. But he's still sure. a legend, though. He's still, he's still a legend. I love him to death. You ever heard of Bill Burr? Yeah, I heard of Bill Burr. I've, uh, I've only watched one of his stand-ups, mm -hmm. and I was tripping when I watched it. Mm -hmm. And I've, I probably never laughed so hard in my in life, dude. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. He's coming so, to Houston. I want to go see him. Yeah? Yeah, he's coming to, to the H. I wanted to see Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn was coming to um, uh, the H, and I, I missed it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I love Theo Vaughn on his podcast, but he be saying the most outrageous <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Theo Vaughn is cool. I really, uh, To be honest, I... I I didn't even know he did stand up. I know I know I seen him on Joe Rogan a few times. You didn't know he did stand up? Mm -hmm. Oh no, yeah, he's a straight full on comedian. His stand up's pretty good. It's okay. a, man, but I think his stand up isn't as good as as uh, his podcast though. Okay. Because on his podcast he has no pressure, he just says random bullshit. No filter. Yeah, no filter. He had a he had a um riff raff on there. Oh and they both shit. got mullets and headband, they dressed like each other. Yeah. Gotta watch yeah. it and get a chance. Damn, bro. damn. Okay, okay. You know, roof rap. He's saying the most off the wall shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Okay, and uh, uh, like, what do you what do you like to watch? Like, you know, what what are you watching right now? Like on Netflix and stuff like that. Man, I, honestly, brother, I've been. I just really haven't been watching anything. No I'm time. a movie guy. I'm a really big oh. movie guy. I've always been a really big movie guy. If it comes to shows, my favorite show is Lost. Uh, what I've been watching lately, just to go to sleep to, is Bar Rescue. My boy John Taffer. Mm -hmm. Hey, but you wake up mad listening to that motherfucker all night. I go to sleep with that that show on, and he's like screaming at people mm -hmm. the entire night, and I wake up like in a bad mood. I'm like, I can stop watching that before <laughs> I go to bed, dude. Bar Rescue? Bar Rescue, yeah. Is that where they come? Like, it's self-explanatory, yeah. right? They, they, they Shitty-ass bars that they can't take care of. Most of the people are, like, drunks, you know what I'm saying? You're in okay. the bar and they're, you're drinking, you know? Um, and John Taffer is the, the, the main dude, and he don't play no games. I like him. I mm. like him a lot. Okay. Um, I've been watching that just because it, it puts me to sleep. I like um, I like Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. I like basically any anime that you put on. I like One Punch Man is crazy. I love One Punch Man. Um yeah, I don't. I don't do a lot of watching. I got gotcha. you. Mm. Yeah, okay. I like to read. Oh, where? What do you? Yeah, what do you I read, read forums. What's it? Anything I want to. It's just a forum, so it'll, it'll just be like a, a like paragraphs of information. So if I want to learn about something, I just look up a forum about it and I will read it for hours. Literally, mm -hmm. and it's crazy how many times mushrooms just got brought up. But last night, I for at least three and a half hours, I read a, a, a forum about mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I love forums. It's because I'm, I'm like a, uh, I just remember information really well, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to like facts and stuff like that. Did you just like remember uh, like, like uh, it was, it's like a short, I guess like a short story uh, yeah, information you know I mean? pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Damn. Okay. I'll be reading uh, scripts sometimes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, uh, like for movies? Mm -hmm. That's kind of dope. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know do if you've like ever heard of them out or do you like, I don't act them out, but cause I like, cause I, I'm, I like to write as well. Mm -hmm. And I like, uh, and that's something I want to get into, like script writing, like little short, doing like short little movies and stuff. Yeah. And so I always like try to like just like different lingos, different like you know different phase phrases and stuff, like yeah. old school phrases. Do you watch, uh, do you do you write your own scripts or like what what uh like I haven't what really movie scripts? gotten into like I haven't really gotten into the scripts, but I got like a whole freaking notebook of like cool little like little uh, like lines and shit. Yeah. yeah, that's that's smart though, man. Mm. If you continue to write those down, like you'll just get better with them, and eventually, bro, you're gonna have fucking seven different movies ready to go. Man, yeah, yeah. You ever yeah. thought about writing a book? No, no, no. You I, write down scripts like that, bro. You'd pretty, I don't you'd know, good like dialogue. Maybe like a not like like a like a story type shit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's yep. true. If you ever watched True Detective, mm -mm. yeah, you you no really. Oh uh, man, you gotta watch good. it, bro. It's with Is that a, a TV show. It's like a series, like it's like seven episodes or something like that. Okay. With Matthew McConaughey. Is it on Netflix? No. no it's on, what's it on? It's on um, like 
like an HBO or something like that. Paramount Plus or something like that. One of the 9,000 pluses you stupid motherfuckers are trying to get us with. They're like, hey, you could either <laughs> buy this as a package for satellite or you can buy them individually. Mm -hmm. You still have a bunch of shit you won't even watch. I literally bought par Paramount Plus just for iCarly. What? Fuck, dude. <laughs> dude, they had the new uh, the iCarly where like, she grew up and shit. I, I never up got into the iCarly's. Man, yeah. I, how old are you? I am twenty. I'm same twenty five. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. But I mean, I've I, always like I've always like when I when I used to watch TV as a kid, like I always always see that show. But I just never got into it. I just got into it because I was obsessed with Sam. Boy, she was thick as hell, mm -hmm. blonde. I rocked with her. Um, I got into that shit. I like Tana Montana. I like Wizards of Waverly Place. Yeah, I, like I had yeah, I had a thing for uh, Selena Gomez, dude. <sighs> yeah, the the Boy. wizard. Uh, they were like wizards and, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. You know what's crazy? And I was just talking to my sister about this yesterday. Is uh, yeah. on. Um, on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, mm -hmm. uh, there's the rich Asian bitch who her name is uh, uh, London Tipton, mm -hmm. right? Well, I was growing up, that was like my biggest crush of all time. Mm -hmm. Guess who she's dating and has a kid with right now? Who? Macaulay Culkin. Zack and Cody? Tell me I don't look exactly yeah. like Macaulay Culkin. I had a chance this whole fucking time. Is it Zack and Cody? No, 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 no. Home Alone? Home Alone. No. Yeah. But he, I, he, no. Huh? Yeah, they have a kid together, bro. I had a chance this whole time. You know what I'm saying? I, I heard he, like I heard he, hey, he was dealing with some stuff, yeah. Yeah. Some drug stuff. Yeah, yeah, he was smoked out of there, smoked in the fucking mix. Well, yeah. just imagine, dude. Like, just imagine this dude. Like, he, he's, he's home alone. Like, yeah, basically, up here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like imagine being a child star like that, mm -hmm. being the one biggest, one of the biggest ones ever, and you're sleeping over at Michael Jackson's house. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah that was weird. He got proven. Innocent, they mm -hmm. they ended up uh, admitting. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's on some weird shit. But uh, yeah, Macaulay Culkin was one of the people who came out, and I guess they ended up figuring out that he that it wasn't true. It, 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 as far out. as like him sleeping with Michael and shit. Yeah, I don't know. Michael's. I mean, my, my I, I love cold. His, he's a cold I motherfucker. Lie, I love his music. I love his joke music. About Michael Jackson. Uh, what was that? A joke, joke about Michael Jackson. Oh really? I want to hear it. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's a knock knock. Who's there? Uh, little boy blue. Little boy blue who? Oh, <laughs> you got me before I could even fucking finish. That it, is but. bad. That was great. I'm using that. Let me get a shirt that says that. You say knock knock on the front and on the back. It's gonna say exactly what it's supposed to say. And they have Michael Jackson's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Damn. pre Ventilago. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, so okay, so that was like as far as like your celebrity crushes going up. Would you say like that was like number like your top one, London? Uh, she was when I was a kid, um, but my my number one celebrity cuz is uh who? Uh, she already know, baby. I ain't even had to say it. Cameron Diaz. Young Cameron. Diaz. Young Cameron Diaz. She look a little busted now, baby, but I still love you. <laughs> I still knock them cheeks down. I don't give a fuck. It's Cameron Diaz, but no, you go. Hey, if y'all got a chance, go look up Cameron Diaz in the mask with the with the oh, red dress yeah. on and the black heels. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Come yeah. Come on, uh, God damn, God that damn. That and Angelina Jolie, those are my two favorite. Angelina Jolie, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. I used to like Amber Heard until I found out she was an ice cold bitch. <laughs> I never heard of the chick. I'm never, I, yeah, she until never the never trial. Back down. She was in Never Back Down. Y'all ever seen Never Back Down? Pineapple Express. She was a, yeah. She was a she was the the girlfriend in Pineapple Express. Oh fuck! Yeah. I didn't know that. She was a conniving whore back then too. Dang. Sorry, excuse me. I didn't mean to. Take Bro. that for our ladies and gentlemen, but yeah, my boy Johnny Depp's going through it right now. They're still doing. They're still in the middle of the trial, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I the ball's deep in the trial right now. He's definitely winning. She got on the sta the stand for five minutes and fucked herself, dog. How, how so? Multiple times. Yeah, she got up there and she was like, uh, they were like, what kind of makeup do you use? She's like, uh, uh fake bruise makeup or what'd she say? Um, uh, bruising makeup. And then they were like, when she was like, and she corrected herself, and she's like, I mean, um, um, like play, yeah, play, uh, like a, like a, you know, you do a play or whatever, like, like, like movie yeah. makeup, yeah. yeah. And then the, this girl on TikTok, so this girl on TikTok, she was scrolling through, and she called her out about it, and she went and bought the same shit that she was using for makeup, mm -hmm. and just made the craziest bruise to look exactly what she had in her face. She's smoking herself, dude. She been saying a bunch of stupid shit, fumbling over her words. I think we got to get that camera again. And that one more time, yeah, yeah. Little road, road mics. Yes, sir. Trying to get on that Joe Rogan, no, he he uses the Sure mic. Oh, really? Yeah. To like for to record music with? Yeah, that's what I got to record music with. Okay, 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 okay. So make sure when you when you do invest in those, you got to get a cloud. I think it's Cloud Lifter. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what powers the mic. 
You can use one without it, but when you when you plug that in, bro, it's, it's a whole different level. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna check that out. Um, Where do they keep going? Are they? Oh, oh, we're waiting for one other person, but I don't think they. Oh, okay. If, yeah, just, if if they do come, let me know. I'll, I'll I'll probably have to buzz them in and whatnot. Okay, cool. But uh, um, yeah, uh, well, I, I see you go live a lot on Instagram. Yeah. I see you like to go live, and 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 is that just because you like going live, or is that just like a? I like tapping in with the people, man. Okay. I like tapping in with the people, and I notice that when I go live and I announce something, even if there's four people in there, mm-hmm. it spreads like wildfire. You know what I mean? And I make hey. If uh if you're on TikTok and you're not going live every day for at least two hours a day, you're slipping. Mm-hmm. Um, I make a lot of my money off of TikTok. There, when I for a while, when I was consistent, even after the viral video died down a little bit, I stayed consistent. I was making two two hundred fifty dollars a day. You had a video go viral on TikTok. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. What was yes, this on? Sir. Are you gonna show me? Yeah. Okay. Come on. I didn't know about this. Oh man, I went super viral. Like 30 million views. Woo. Yeah. I didn't. What's this? Let me see. This is the one that we're shooting, the, uh, mu- that we shot the music video to. This is on your TikTok? Yeah. Okay. I might have super shitty service up here. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Here we go. Yeah, but it's that. Uh, Let me see. Yeah. go. Y'all go to my, y'all go to, uh, go hit up my TikTok. That's Bill Griffin. Uh-huh. No spaces, no caps. Yeah, you might want to do it on your phone. Let me try. I think I got bad service because it's about to die. Yeah, yeah. Usually when the phone's about to die, they'll. Uh... Oh, here we go. Smoked it. Yeah, let me try my. Yeah, the, the the speaker. Hey, the speakers on my my phone is fucked up. Y'all don't ever get the iPhone eight. Like, there's like an iPhone two hundred out now right now. Mm-hmm. Is <laughs> a guilt. Hey, blue. Where are they? Where, what's what's going on? Hello, I've been adult. Turn up when I'm dropping a flow. Lean to the side, from the left to the right, from the front to the back, from the top to the flow. I got two perks and I'm popping them both. Play with the wave and I'm rocking your boat. If you lay in the shade, get cut in the coat. If it ain't what you think was, not what you know. I need a hundred bands. Know how I ride like a fucking band. And every lot that I sell is a couple grand. And every bitch that I fuck is another man. And every blunt that I smoke is a bunch of grand. And every lot that I sell is a couple grand. And I'm over the mm. fucking band. And I'm gonna fuck the give them screaming fucking man. Like, <laughs> that was just, uh, I posted that on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Dude, so I posted that on Thanksgiving Day. My little brother's friend was over. His name's Jackson. Mm-hmm. Shout out my boy Jackson. I love you to death, dude. Um, one sec, guys. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, so um, my, we're all, we all, my grandma doesn't, it was Thanksgiving, we were at my grandma's house. She don't like us smoking weed. So we twisted, went up, we went out to the camper, mm-hmm. right? Went out to the camper, flipped the lights on. I had my computer out there and shit. So I played that beat, and I just had just the chorus. They're the young and making some out of nothing. Well, as soon as the verse came in, I handed I handed my phone. I said, "Record this shit," you know. And I thought, and this is this is very inspirational, and I want y'all to really take this into heart because I posted that video, telling myself that it was going to be another wasted fucking video. Mm-hmm. Like that's, that's you know a lot of un, uh, uh, excuse me, a lot of potential wasted, a lot of stuff that you know, a lot of bars that people, nobody's going to see. I went to bed that night. I had actually started a new job the next day. It was a security job, and I went to that job. And halfway through my shift, I looked at my phone, and we were going viral. You know what I mean? It just happened like that, dude. What do you? And, and when you said you were going viral, so how many views did it have at that point? At that point, I th- I think it had like five hundred thousand, and I knew it was going to keep going because it was just tripling and tripling. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Every yeah. time I looked at it, it was double what it was before. Yeah, so damn. I looked at it again, and it had a million. And I looked at it again, and it had fifteen. You know, one thousand. You know, um, so I honestly didn't know what to think about it i'm like oh it's a fluke you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. tiktok's algorithm finally put me in there for one so we took that same video and i wanted to test the waters took that same video and i posted it on instagram went absolutely viral took that same video and posted it on facebook and went absolutely viral Damn. yeah man and we went from what a thousand monthly listeners to a hundred thousand monthly listeners you know mm-hmm. what i mean like and that wasn't even like a professional no nah, that's professionally like done it. it's like it's just like just like mm-hmm. chilling and, and mm-hmm. just pull out the camera phone and spit right. some bars. I think that's why people liked it so much. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Is that song like, is that recorded or is that just something oh, that yeah, you wrote? Yeah. That song's called There He Go. Um, it's on all platforms right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just recorded the music video to it. Mm-hmm. Um, that's I want to drop it Friday, 27th. I think that'd be good. We can do a whole rollout pen. Um, 
That's the song that, or that's the video uh, where we rolled up in suits and we rented out the oh, office building. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How long ago was this? Uh, that was the, three, the about video. three months ago. Okay. I okay. wanted to do the music video a lot sooner, but, you know, we were really trying to get our budget up and, and be able to do things like that. So it took some time. Do you plan on putting more videos out like this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got Why so not? many plans, man. It's crazy. Damn, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, and uh, as far as, like, uh, you know, other artists is in, the, in the industry. Has anyone reached out to you, uh, you know, show some love? Oh, yeah. Uh, Blind Fury, WAC 100. Um, WAC reached yeah. out? Hey, man, his daughter did. Wow. Yeah. Okay. No offense, WAC. Everybody just said not to go that route, and you ended up doing your own thing. I ended up doing my own thing. It's all love. Um, but I met Brizzy through it. I met Gringo through it. Mm-hmm. When I went viral, that's how I met Gringo. Oh, okay. And then right okay. after that song went viral and I dropped it or whatever, I mean, my streams are going absolutely crazy. I'm mm-hmm. nuts. Ringo hit me up and said, hey, man, you like this song? We going live, feeling the vibe, John in line, pick you aside. I was like, yeah, this is fucking hard, dog. Yeah, I heard y'all did, I did a little performance together, you and yeah. uh, Gringo. We actually opened up for Westside Boogie, and that's uh, one of Eminem's artists. Yeah, Westside yeah. Boogie, is, is he the one uh I've right. been talking through my rain today. Yeah, yeah, today. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one yeah. song where he's like... Uh, Right? No, no, I'm thinking Russ. No, fuck. Russ is cold. I like Russ. No, but there's a song that, that uh, Boogie put out. I forget what it's called. It, uh, well, there were the, well, there's really, what confused me is because when he told me Boogie, I thought, there's hey, another Boogie, Boogie. With a hoodie. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I thought he was talking about. I was like, oh, fuck, this is about to be huge. And he said, West Side Boogie, and I also thought it was going to be huge. And it was pretty packed out, but those people didn't know who the fuck we are. It's two white boys on stage. They're just ready for West Side Boogie to come out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. But at that show, uh, I had several people come up to me and ask for pictures and, and autographs and stuff like that. So Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. And, like, uh, d- do you ever, like, watch old performance videos of yourself and, you know, yeah? Yeah, all the time. Mm-hmm. I use it for, like, uh, motivation. Mm-hmm. Like, when I'm having writer's block, I'll just go listen to what I think my best song is at the time. But... I- I always feel like, and I tell this tell this to people all the time. I don't know if anybody in here has seen the new ep, uh, the new show Moon Knight. Mm-mm. It's on Disney Plus. Basically, he's a Marvel character, but what he does is uh, he goes to bed and then wakes up in a completely different area, and everything's all fucked up, and he loses track of time. I feel like that's what it is when I make music. I don't know where half the shit comes from. It just comes. You know what I mean? The next yeah. thing I know, I'm like, holy shit! I just made an entire hit. So, mm-hmm. on average, how long does it take you to come up with a song? Shit, man. It just depends. If I'm really vibing the beat and I'm I'm in, I'm in my zone, I do it in a day. But mm-hmm. uh, you know, if I really want to take my time and be lyrical, a couple days. You know, if I just want to take my time on the song, week. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you ever hopped on a song with somebody and and then later it was like, or have you ever asked anyone like to feat to 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 feature on your song and then later it was like on oh, some Soldier Boy type stuff like, nah. I'm yeah, <laughs> I mean, dude, a lot of people hit me up wanting to be on songs with me, right? And I listen yeah. to their shit, and the, the one song that they sent me was a halfway decent. And I'm like, okay, because I I do charge for features, three hundred fifty dollars. Let me know. Mm. Um, but I, I've done a, quite a few features and everybody's been happy with them. But there's been a couple where I'm like. There's a dude, I'm not going to say his name or anything, but there's a guy who hit me up, wrote a verse, sent me the song, and I had to rewrite it for him. Mm. So, I mean, he, he already paid the money. He wanted to be on the mm-hmm. song, and I, and, and I, we kind of went through it together, and I taught him how to be a better rapper. I didn't mm-hmm. just write it for him and throw it at him, you know? Mm-hmm. So That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's nothing wrong with that, like, yeah. you know? But, uh, okay. And, and so you kind of, like, ghostwrite it. Was yeah. a ghostwriter in that case, basically. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Shout out all the ghostwriters out there too, man. Drake, <laughs> Drake and right. ghostwriters. He might be able to write a check to the ghostwriters. <laughs> 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 no, I've heard Drake snap off. Don't get me wrong. I just, uh, yeah. I we got proof that someone wrote songs for him. So I'm not a hater though. Mm-hmm. I like I like a lot of Drake songs. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. did you like that new? Uh, he just put out. Um, that uh, certified lover boy. Certified lover boy. Uh, it just sounded. I think it was like a super boring album. Oh, compared to his other on. stuff. Yeah, I didn't feel like there was much going on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That song with him and Jack Harlow. Yeah, ch- uh, was Churchill, it Church, uh, Churchill, Churchill, something like that. Yeah, that shit was cold, boy. Yeah. Cause I mean, Jack, Jack and Snap, but Drake ran his ass on that. Yeah, he killed it. He killed it. And Drake's Ghost Rider ran his ass on that. <laughs> I think, I think Jack said he's, he had to redo his verses. 
Oh, I would too if he came at me like that. I'm yeah. like, look, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I feel the like opening line was like uh, the opening line was cold hearts. He said he said cold hearts and heated floors. Like you're so rich that we can't even relate with you anymore, motherfucker. <laughs> heated <laughs> floors, Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get out the shower freezing my dick off every time. <laughs> it's levels, man. It's yeah. levels. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you, uh, do you feel like with the news, like the like every shit going on around the world and stuff like that? I mean, I'm very man. I I just vary to myself. I know there's a lot of, there's, but there's always shit going on, bro. Yeah, like you know what I mean. It's inevitable. That shooting, so time, dude. yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, that, that white kid. Yeah, that was that was. Pretty it's always sad. a white male. What's up with you, motherfuckers, dude? <laughs> For real, dude. You look at the statistics and the fucking yeah. shit. I'm not no hater. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But it's I don't. You don't. See, I mean, bro. Every mass school shooting, anything like that, anything along those lines, it's been some weird ass white male who got online and got influenced by some some like yeah. group of like H. H you know? But I don't know. Is it online? Because like, I feel like I, I mean I'm pretty sure it don't help. But like it, this goes back to like you know the days like like uh, uh you know like when they shot the school up and stuff like that. Oh, Columbine. Yeah, well, those those kids are influenced by that. Uh, there's a uh, if y'all get a chance, I don't know if y'all are into to mystery and, and murder and stuff like that, but I am. There's a movie called Zero Day, and they kind of explain why Columbine was so quote unquote influential to so many people. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of kids. There was these. Uh, it's called the Scream House Murders, and there's these two little white kids, and they documented all their shit that they did. They bought a camera and they documented. They're like. 17, 18 in high school. Mm -hmm. Documented everything they did with stealing the guns, loading the guns, coming up with a plan, buying the trench coats, doing everything. And the whole time they're talking, they're quoting Columbine shit. And they're like, well, I just want to be just like these guys. They had the right idea. But I honestly, <laughs> you can only be influenced so much. Mm -hmm. and, and then it comes to a point where it's like, you're just not all there in the head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or there's something going wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. But, uh, Rest yeah. in peace, you know. Yeah, that, you know that's that. That, that, that took Love a left turn. That took a left yeah, turn. Yeah, that went. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, do you do you like to shoot? Do you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I own guns. I'm a I'm a shooter. Are you mean shooting or shooting? Like shooting. Oh, I know yeah, that was yeah. like a bad segue. Like no, you're good. No, no, no. Probably not like, the hey, best segue. Shooting, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, brother. Anyway, you. Hey, I'll shoot anyway. You got it. I shoot dice. I shoot guns. I shoot basketballs. I shoot my shot. Yeah. Not as many times as I should, but I do shoot my shot. Mm -hmm. No, I, I like. I like. I'm a. Uh, you know, I believe that. You should they regulate guns to an extent? Yeah, I don't feel like every. Average Joe should have a fucking gun because of look how many people get shot up. But at the same time, like, you know what I mean? You can't really get just because those kids are gonna do something either way. They're gonna go make a fucking bomb and blow that bitch up. You know what yeah. I mean? So that's why I, I, I like Texas just passed the, the law, you know, the open carry law and everything yeah. like that. So I feel like there's gonna be a lot less robbings. There's gonna be a lot less. You know what I mean? Yeah, because people can defend you themselves. Defend yourself. You know? Yeah, yeah. I think that shooting was in New York, the one that just. Was it? Yeah, I think they're very. They're actually very strict on. Yeah. And I don't want them gun people coming at me. I don't really. I'm not very educated right, on this right, stuff. You right, know? right, right, right. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. Did Did you know that there in Texas there's this there's this uh, uh like business where you can, uh, where you can like, like, if you wanted to like shoot guns like there's this because you know we, we got we got a hop uh, a hog problem in certain oh certain yeah they'll areas. pay you to, to to take the hogs out yeah like you can go on a hel helicopter and they got like just mow them down you know yeah. i think it's fucked up those we don't have a hog problem hogs have a human problem you know what i'm saying hogs are like it's not the fact that they're i mean yeah they're fucking and multiplying like crazy but at the same time mm -hmm. like They've always been here. They're just doing mm -hmm. what they were. It's their instinct, and you're yeah. mowing them down for it. Yeah, that's like us getting mowed down because we want to go eat water burger. It's like that's <laughs> an instinct, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm not, don't get me wrong. If y'all want to go shoot some hogs down, hit me up. For, <laughs> I'll hang out a plane with them. Like, that's just how it is, man. Like you know, that's it's just it is, yeah. you know. Um, but uh, yeah, man. I, I don't know. It, it, it sounds pretty cool, though. I don't know. Do you hunt? I don't. My okay. roommate does though, like a motherfucker. He's a fisher. Shout out Stino. Mm -hmm. I like you, boy. Um, yeah, he hunts and fishes like a motherfucker. I was never much into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't like killing animals unless I absolutely have to. And then when they are dead, but they're already in patty form, and it's like it's not like I'm seeing the fucking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's different. Yeah. Like like bro. Are geez, you a vegan? I was a vegan for a long time. Oh word. Yeah. Uh, because of that, like because of that. No, nah, just because I I just tired of feeling like shit, bro. Okay. You know what I mean? I was always you know I was. 
And then, but what I want to go back to is, you know, I want to get back on my workout shit. I want to get back on my organic grass-fed shit. Because mm-hmm. I do believe you're supposed to have meat in your diet, but only if it's not processed. Y'all are out here. Do you realize that they, they, they take a cow, right, and they impregnate that cow. The second it has its baby, they impregnate it again. They do that all year round. So not only is that cow fucked, who would want to be pregnant all year round, right? Not mm-hmm. only that, but all their, their udders get infected mm-hmm. because the cows are sucking on them all the time. They're trying to get their milk. You know what I mean? Their mm-hmm. udders get infected. They squeeze. They still use that milk and put it in gallons of milk because there's a, there's a loud. And this says this on the go to the, the, the United States Health website, and they will tell you that, that you're allowed to have a certain percentage of pus in every gallon of milk. So y'all mm-hmm. have fun with your fucking coagulated cow pus. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, yeah, not the best world to be a cow. No, fuck. <laughs> well, uh, isn't there certain parts of the world where you they can't touch them. a cow? Yeah, yeah you, they, they worship, worship cows. That, that, out there, they're dick swinging, bro. Indi- India yeah, and... Say something, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. They're crossing roads. They're doing whatever the fuck they want to. They don't even get kept in fucking fences out there. Yeah, it's like a religion type of thing. Yeah, which is... Yeah, that's cool, man. I don't know why you worship cows, but there has to be a reason. Do you, do you, are you uh, much of a religious guy, if, if you know, um, yeah, about no, that. I don't mind talking about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, no offense to anybody. I'm not very religious. I'm very spiritual. Um, Do you believe, like, in a God? A God? I believe in science. Okay. I believe there's physical proof to tell us why we're here. And people ignore those signs because of faith. Which I'm not hating on anybody who, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But like, Does your, that's a, what you believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I grew up Christian, you know what I mean? I got kicked out of church when I was 12 because I kept asking the pastor questions that didn't make any fucking sense yeah he would tell us something that he read at a segment he read of the bible i'm like that doesn't make any sense to me i'm 12 years old and i can point it out mm-hmm. y'all are grown people and you're still stuck in a cloud you still believe that yeah bullshit yeah. you know what i'm saying you, you if you read the bible front to back it's a great story mm-hmm. it's good metaphors good similes they're talking they're not talking uh they're talking figuratively they're not talking mm-hmm. literally you know what I mean? yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 there wasn't really an a uh, snake that told eve to eat that it's called temptation they were speaking figuratively and there are good things to live by in the bible no but people if, really do believe that though like it see, was i a know snake, that's you why know? i get kicked out of church because <laughs> i was trying to tell them that that shit's a wag yeah i was like how does that make any sense mm-hmm. yeah but and then well then you then you gotta like if if that's not true then you gotta like look at the whole bible and whatnot and right. it's 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 a lot, man. I don't know, man. You know how many people go to, like, uh, and I notice this. You know how many people go to church and never even read the Bible? They they literally go to church because they're scared. Mm-hmm. They're scared. A L- little, little bit, little oh, bit, yeah. yeah, yeah. My fault. They're scared because they don't know what's going to happen after after life. So they want some type of, oh, well, this will happen. They want assurance. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, say, well, if I wake up every day or I wake up every Sunday and I go to church and I read my Bible and I pray and I do what the pastor tells me to do, I'll go to heaven. And that's all that matters. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but, but. Re- None of them yeah. have even read the Bible. Yeah, I think, and, and and maybe they have, but I feel like they do sometimes condone that, like all the stuff in the Bible, just because they're it's, it's, they don't know what happens after death, and and just because someone tells them that hey, this is what happens when you die, I think that's just like okay, like, okay, if they, you know, I'll, I'll I don't know, I'll like fine, I'll buy into it, you know, yeah, because I mean? like, I'm like, who's who's not scared to die, right? So yeah. if you're like, oh fuck, up. they made hell up to scare people into believing what they have to say for money. And that, and that's my theory. Mm-hmm. Made, hey, if you don't do exactly what we say, you're gonna rot in hell. You're gonna burn in hell for eternity. Now, if I was a small-minded, closed-minded person, I'd be like, "Oh fuck, I better get my shit together. I better start going to church every Sunday." But like, even church is super whack. They don't get taxed, and they ask you for money. Okay, cool. The government should provide that. At the end of the day, if you want, if you want, if churches are such a part of United States, and that, and, and, and Christianity is part of our fucking, you know, the way we move, then you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Look at Joel Osteen, dude. <laughs> dude, we, we got hit by a hurricane. This motherfucker <laughs> wouldn't even let people come into his church. What a cocksucker, dude! Yeah, what the fuck? Hey, I think they found money in the wall. Yeah, they, they found did. money. That's gnarly. The, a plumber uh, was oh, boy, doing some work, passing that plate around a couple extra times every week, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> Should have been a pastor, Dan. Yeah, right. Should have been a pastor. And actually, no, shout out Mattress Mac, fool. Because Mattress Mac be holding it down. He's an OG <laughs> in my city, fool. And everybody knows that. Because yeah. Mattress, Mattress Mac, it, when, when all that shit went down, uh, you know, y'all's pastor didn't help nobody. But little mm-hmm. Mattress Mac was putting people on, bro, helping everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that dude, that dude's uh he's all man, he's a true true hist- uh, Houstonian man. Like he's oh, for always sure. always he's putting. grounded here. He's got roots. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey man, I want to thank you guys for coming through. No this was fun, man. We definitely got to do this again. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Sir, you know what I'm saying? Super down. 
Yeah, but uh, before we sign off, man, where can the people find you uh, social media? All platforms, um, Bill Grippen, no caps, no spaces on everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm the only Bill Grippen in the world. If you go uh, if you go on Xbox and you try to make a Call of Duty account and use Bill Grippen, I'm the only motherfucker. Nah, on hold on, hold on, hold on. If you go, if you go to Google right now and you search Bill, he'll be right under Bill Gates. Yeah, no cap, we already looked it up. Yeah. And, uh, and, yeah. and, 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 uh, and ahead of, uh, uh, who was it? Bill... Uh, Who cares? I'm still ahead of that motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, Bill know. Grippen, man. Y'all know. Yeah. Hey, shout out Brizzy Baby. Hey, look, Brizzy Baby, no space in between it. All all lowercase, Brizzy Baby. Y'all go look him up. He has a song called Red Rum. Super hard. He has a song called Turned Up Thotty. One of my favorites. Super cold. We got Blue in the Shut building. Up. K-Blue, K-B-L-U. Go look him up on all platforms. Um, yeah. All right, you know, what it is. you know what it is. I just had to shout everybody out. Jedediah, you the man, fool. Um, I, I just wanted to say one thing. I did go through and, and watch some of your interviews, and you're mm-hmm. very talented. And I like you. the direction you're going in. Uh, keep it up, dude. For, for sure, for sure, man. For sure, this is first of many, man. Yeah. And uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in to another great episode of the Jedediah Podcast. Y'all make sure to hit that subscribe for more, and stay tuned for the next. Oh, right. Billy, go. Yeah. Look, I gave it everything I had, dog. Hey, On my dad, dog. I'ma snatch a bag, dog. Wrapped up a tune with a squad and a flag, dog. Hanging with the trap, I still chopping down a tan wall. I'm known in the city for my hard work. Look at me, I can show you how I crown work. Plug my wrist till my watch finally drown first. For whatever stop, you'll be in the ground first. Huh. If you don't want it, then get back in line. I don't know how you do dope, but I pack.